Hello everyone, this is Dino Don here again with a little update on my Stan Myers water fuel cell project. Uh, previously, I was doing all my testing with a multi-core, coil core like Stan's, a primary, secondary, two chokes. Uh, and all I could ever get on the scope was some high voltage AC signals, as you see in my previous videos. So, recently I've tried using just a standard 110 volt to 12 volt step down transformer in reverse so instead of going out to 12 I go in the 12 come out to 110 uh, so now I'm back to hooking up the scope back to the cell into the isolated ground between the secondary and the positive negative choke so what I was looking to do is see if I could find a resonance in this setup LC resonance with my cell so I've already tuned into it I'm running about 8 volts uh, 0.02 amps at the moment. Uh, I'm at 24,000 hertz. Okay, this is what it looks like with the gating turned on. I've already tuned in, remember. Alright, so there's my gated signal with uh, LC resonance. And you can see if I adjust my frequency up and down, I mean, just a hair, it doesn't take much. So, right there, we're in the 24,000 hertz range. Okay, all right, that's AC. What I've got, I've got uh, 50 volts per division. I'm on using a times 10 probe, so I'm at uh, 200 volts at its peak. Tweak this a little, here we go. There's 200 volts AC. Okay, before my videos, while making AC with this choke setup, I never made any gas. So now you can see I'm actually producing gas even with this AC signal. All right, now what I'll do now is I'm going to change this over, take this ground, there's what's left of the signal, hook it across the cell, I'm going to reset this at 2 volts per division, go back to times 1, and that's the DC signal. And again, without doing anything else, I'm back to this. So, so that's interesting. What another interesting thing I see happening here is if you look at these pulses, here's your off gates, your on pulse. Eventually, occasionally, oops, focus. Occasionally, these pulses produce a little peak. Right there, they are. See them? It's like it's trying to charge higher. Okay, well, like I said, this is on a two volts per division scale right now. So there's two, four, a little over four volts is all. Uh, I'm still only running eight volts, and I'm only pulling 0.45 amps. All right, now if I Turn the gating off, let's go back to the times 10, back to my resonance signal. And this is what happens if I turn off the gating. This I wasn't expecting. It still acts as if there's some gating on there, and there's no gating. As you see, the amp draw jumps up almost double, triple. But that's an interesting thing. I mean, if I try to tune in, tune it, adjust it, uh, there's, there's pretty much kind of a resonant signal. Let's turn this up so we can... Yeah, so there's, you can see it's still resonating. Pretty close. That's about as close as you're going to get to uh, LC resonance. And again, we're 24,000 hertz. So, let's get this gating back on. Don't want to heat up my MOSFET too bad. Turn this back down. That's where we're at. So, I thought I'd just share that with you. But, uh, my, what a conclusion I'm coming to, <clears throat> trying to use my own hand wound cores, <clears throat> I don't get any gas. But since I've gone to a factory wound transformer, I'm able to still tune into resonance. Oh, here's another little thing. If I take my core apart, See what happens to the signal? I just change the inductance on it, and no matter what I do for frequency, it will not come back. So if I put this back on, I'm right back to where I was. So, when you're looking at this on a DT DC scale, if I remove this, no effect. So, 
something to ponder. Well, I uh, hope this makes sense to people, gives you some insight. Uh, but my uh, concern is, is that I believe that we really need to concentrate on our transformer arrangements. Hand winding transformers uh, cannot give me anything near what this is doing. So I think my next step is is to possibly maybe go to like a maybe a neon light type transformer that can give me a much greater output of voltage potential and try that and then uh, again play around with some chokes see if uh, see if I can do something with that. But that's where I'm at. So <clears throat> thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed my video. Don out.